I got Elijah, my son, cameraman. So we are here with my sister, and she makes amazing masks. I talked about it in the vlogs. Um, she does custom ones. You have like an Etsy account. Yes, right? it's called Oh So Sandy. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can hit her up too if you want like any custom ones. Right now I'm doing one for a daycare. So you can see she, she does custom ones. She made me a, a, a Tomb 45 one, a dope mm -hmm. Tomb 45 one. Here's another new one that will be up. Yeah. Real dope. And then like you have some that comes with a kid's mask, right? Like if yes, you order a kid's this is one. the kid's mask. So that comes, that's for like a doll, right? Yes, this is for a doll or a teddy bear. If you get the kid's ones, mm -hmm. it comes with free, right? Yes, it comes it's with complimentary it. for the kids to encourage them to keep their masks on. How dope is that? You want to show them how, like, how it works real quick? So for an adult or a children's mask, basically this is the mask. You put it on. You mold the metal to the nose. If you're gonna wear it for more than one hour or whatever it might be and it's bothering your ears, you use the ear saver. And how you use that is this way. You snap it, snap it here also. And then it don't bother you around your ears. Yes. I like it, dope. And then it has a, a filter built in. Yes. And then you can add filters to it too, right? Yes. Gosh, that's dope. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's, that's awesome. It has a pocket, and there you put the filter, and it has the built-in filter already inside. So you got like double protection. Exactly. Double protection. So guys, that's uh, just a quick intro to my sister's mm -hmm. business. She just launched this not too long ago. Super proud of her. Signing to, you know, fulfill her entrepreneurial spirits. Yes. So with that being said, show her support. Check out the link below. Hit her up if you want a custom one with your own logos and stuff like that. I know barbers that should be branding a lot better and uh, should have their stuff on their mask. Mm -hmm. It's smart guys, if you're trying to build your clientele, you should be wearing a mask that shows that you're a barber walking around these stores and stuff. Exactly. Cool. Walking advertisement. Starting to get um, questions whether or not if I'm able to make masks for children three and under, I am able to do that also. Cool. But with that being said, I just want to show my sister some love and support her business. Make sure you guys hit her up if you need a mask. Let's go ahead and start this tutorial. YouTube, what's going on guys? I've been out for a little minute, but we are going to begin this haircut with sectioning the top off. Because we're going to separate the two. Now, this is my nephew. This is this is my nephew. He's 12 years old. And um, he is visiting from Georgia. And um, that's kind of why I've been quiet. Now, I've still been dropping content. If you haven't checked out any of like the... The how to build wealth as a barber um, content and really it's 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 universal I don't care if you're a doctor if you're a lawyer if you're a teacher if you don't have financial literacy you know it doesn't matter how much money you're making you're not gonna build wealth there's a difference between um, you know making a lot of money and building wealth right and and so I've been dropping those videos and I haven't done a tutorial but here we are with a tutorial so we cut the top with some shears um, with some scissors whatever you would want to call them depending on where you're from you call them something different um, um, and I used his his fringe area or the front of the top of his hair to determine the length throughout because he wants to keep the front long and barbers constantly cut the front too short once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and use a number four coming off the shape of his head. As you can see here, I'm going slow so that you guys can see and we'll clear the bulk that way. After that, we're going to use our one and a half guard all the way open and we're going to use the same motion to pretty much blend into that number four. So if you think about it, we're skipping um, the two guard and the three guard blending right into that number four into the shape we created um, and then we're going to start our initial guideline so I'm doing these motions because I'm, I'm talking to uh, to one of our one of our, one of the barbers at headlines he's asking me questions and stuff about the cut so okay and now the reason why I do this is again because I want to skip some guards like I was telling, um, it was Lito that I was talking to. Like I was telling him, you know, the quicker I can get through the initial steps, the better. Because 
I tell you guys almost every tutorial where I spend most of my time is detailing. So we skipped a bunch of guards there to clear the bulk, and now we're just fading into a one and a half guard, right? I'll eventually jump to that, use a number two and a number three when it's time to detail, but we'll, wor we'll worry about that later. You can see that the initial guideline is kind of contouring the shape of the head. That's pretty much what I was explaining um, to Lido with those hand gestures. Trying to get it as tight as possible, as light as possible with the shaver. Alright, and our next step is our next guideline that we're creating with the blade open. And so now you have two guidelines. You have your initial guideline and you have your blade open guideline. And now it's time to blend out that section. Now on this side, I'm pretty much going to blend sections going up. On the other side, I'm going to blend sections going down. And you'll see the difference what I'm talking about. Because I did go so tight with the shaver, I knew I was going to have to use my trimmers just a little bit um, to clean it up and then, you know, follow it back up with the clipper all the way closed just to get that bottom line blended nicely. All right, next step is the number one guard all the way open. Next step, half guard all the way open and we'll close it as needed until this section is blended. Damn it, Tito. Another one? Hey Tito, this is a nice beat right here, bro. I don't know if you guys checked out the intro, man. Some of you guys I know skipped it. But Tito's my cousin. My sister was in the intro. And um, it's just dope seeing them, you know, come out with all their entrepreneurial things and and hustling, man, grinding. And, you know, one thing that's positive about COVID-19 that's come out of this, you know, um, you know, when you try to look at it in a positive light with all the all the bad things that it, it's brought to people's lives is is, you know, it's woken people up as well to cherish their loved ones and and to not take tomorrow for granted and not to depend on anybody to be able to provide. So. So anyways, we blended to that one and a half guard. And now remember, I told you guys we would grab that number three and number two after we've gone through our process so our fade process is done and so now i'm going to grab my number three then my number two and and start you know blending that area once that's done we'll go on to the next side and we're going to use the same sections right so blade open and then one open except we're going to blend each section from top to bottom where on the other side we blend we did the sections and we blend it from bottom to top it's a preference thing i probably showed a million different ways to fade on this channel 
I always get confused when somebody in the comments say, I like the way this guy fades better. I like this the way this, like I've shown every type of, you know, way to fade, skip guarding, all kinds of things. There's hundreds of videos on my channel. Um, and so the, the idea isn't to teach you the one way to fade, but to teach the one way that's best for you to fade. And so you got to figure that out by doing reps, watching as many YouTube channels, as many YouTubers as possible, watch as many tutorials as possible and put in as many reps as possible. This doesn't come overnight. It's not easy. Like people try to make it out to be. And, you know, even when people think, you know, I'll just cut my own hair, it comes out the same. Maybe you might think so. But if I'm looking at your cut, I probably wouldn't believe you you, or I probably wouldn't agree with you. Um, not to say that there aren't people who can't self cut just as good as barbers out there. Um, don't get don't get me wrong, but it, it took, you know, some 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 opportunity cost to make that happen. What I mean by that is, you know, I don't cut my own lawn. I don't clean my own pool because my time is better spent doing something else. You know, and to save $65 a month, to save $100 a month, um, it's just not worth it for me. You know, I want to, uh, if you watch my video, you know, how to build wealth as a barber, I would rather spend my time focusing on the things that I need to be better at. I need to be great at because that's going to give me the best return on my investment. Oh, dang. Look what s Crap Blends just picked up. You know, he's a, a clipper nerd. All right. So check it out, guys. I got these, um... I got the new gammas, right? These are some new clippers, the magnetic cordless ones. And it's funny because S Craft, he has them, and um, I'm using them, and I'm liking them. And I'm, I decided I was gonna use them for the rest of this cut, or for the, the majority of the rest of this cut, right? And I was gonna try to detail with them. And I really like the way they were feeling, man. Um, he's gonna drop a review on his channel. So if you're not subscribed to S Craft Blends, do subscribe to him and make sure you, you look out for that review. But I came home today and your boy had a package at the door. Shout out to Gamma. Had no idea they were sending me a package. I still haven't looked inside the package. I'll do an unboxing video probably tomorrow or something to show you guys what I got. So at this point we have faded both sides but i'm i'm now i'm putting in work i'm detailing i'm looking for dark inconsistent like back here it looks inconsistent right now especially in in this area so i grab my half guard and i'm just using my corners and i'm looking for dark areas that just throw the throw the blend off you feel me using a lot of corners using scissor over comb um just just using the barber's eye and that's something that, you know, my boy S. Craft and myself would both agree on. That's something you develop over time is the barber's eye. And, and there's people who think that their haircut looks amazing. And then, you know, even myself, I thought my haircuts were, were banging in barber school. And I mean, how many barbers can tell me in the comment section, you know, you, you, your haircuts <laughs> there in barber school, you thought were crazy, were dope, were blurry. And then three years later after you know investing in yourself and 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 putting in time you look back at those photos like nah <laughs> you feel me uh, but yeah we're still detailing guys still here detailing and so my nephew he's he's 12 years old his he, People always struggle with his hairline. So I'm going to style his hair and make sure that the hair that should be, you know, away from his hairline is away. Because the moment you lay all his hair down and you try to line it up, he's going to lose the length that he's trying to keep in the front. He wants that length. That's his number one complaint. Kid be crying if you cut the front of his, of the top of his hair too short. So I didn't cut anything off. And I also want to make sure it's away from his hairline. And so his hairline is very light. And his mother t tells me all the time that they always push him back to make it, you know, as crispy as possible. So I'm going to leave it as natural as I can, even though his hair, his hairline is not naturally, you know, perfectly even and consistent. We're going to try to leave it as natural as possible. And then I'm going to use um, the enhancement just to make a nice, 
um, natural hairline pop a little bit more. And he loved it. And my sister, his mother, loved it too. All right. And then we're going to put the razor on it. Because you already know the razor just brings the cut to another level. Before this cut, I convince I try to convince him to cut it low, give him that bad bunny look, but he didn't want to do it. He's he knows what he wants, guys. This is the before. Now check out the after. Yeah, that's blurry. Come on. That's blurry right there. Yo guys, if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button smash the like button let me know in the comments what you think it helps the channel so much guys love y'all appreciate y'all and i'll see you on the next video